darlings, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my feminine shower routine for the summer. I'm sharing with you all my beauty rituals, all the products I use, everything that I wear during the summer months to make my perfumes last longer. So this is all a part of my self-care, how I look after my body, my skin, and how I make my fragrances perform so well. So I wanted to share everything that I use. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all the products I use. These are some of my most loved products. Products that I've had for many years, products that's always on repeat, and I'm going to always replace these items. So I have body oils, I've got soaps, lotions, shower gels, everything to share with you guys. So if you're looking to start your feminine journey, if you're looking to have your fragrances layered and lasting for even longer, then keep watching. I'll tell you about my skin type as well. My skin is actually, I would say my skin is supposed to be normal. My skin is normal, but I think here in the city, here in London especially, my skin is more on the drier side. So I need an extra boost of moisture and I've noticed when I travel abroad if I'm living abroad my skin is very different and so here my skin dries out a lot my skin needs Sun and my skin needs a soft water because we don't have those elements here I like to make my skin glow pop my skin to be even and smelling beautiful so my skin routine starts off with using soap and I normally use a bar of soap. So I have a bar here. Now this is a beautiful, guys, limited edition Chanel number no. five soap. This is not something I bathe with every day, but I wanted to show you an example of a soap. Guys, this smells so beautiful. I actually keep this in my drawer because it smells so gorgeous. It's so powerful. So I normally bathe with soap, and my soap of choice is Ole and Dove, and these soaps are really soft and I find them quite moisturising, they don't irritate my skin whatsoever. This is my Ole shower gel. Now these items are my base items, so this is something I would use on an everyday basis. This is my first line of cleansing and guys this is so creamy, so luscious, so wonderful, I love the scent. And I tend to wear this one, well, wear, <laughs> but I tend to bathe with this soap. If I want something that's very light and soft, it just smells like clean skin, then I would bathe with this because I know I'm going to add a fragrance on top and this doesn't interfere with any of my fragrances as well. And I do find the scent of the Olay products do linger on your skin. So this one is quite soft and you can, you know, blend and layer with other perfumes later on in the day it's absolutely fine um so this is one i do love it's creamy has a really nice consistency very soft creamy and smooth so that's ole if i'm looking for a universal scent something that is versatile just smells like a skin scent smells like i just stepped out of the shower then ole is the one that i love there's also one by dove as well that i love i think it's called pure silk it just has such a beautiful scent. I love, love that scent. I don't think I own any shower gels that's unscented, so that's something I'm going to be looking out for. But these are my scented shower gels. This is the one that I normally grab the most because it's just so beautiful. This is Molten Brown's Rose and Rhubarb, and this scent, I think this was released possibly, I'm not too sure, but I think this may have been released like 2012 or or 14 sometime around there and I remember when I first tried this and guys oh my goodness this scent was amazing and I don't think I smelt anything like this it was so beautiful and I remember at the time they had the marketing everything was just like rose rhubarb pink and floral and pretty and I just remember walking through like the high street or through the mall and all you could smell was this note of rhubarb. It was so striking and I think that's why I just fell in love with it. It just smelled so beautiful. What I do love about Molten Brown, because Molten Brown is one of my favourite products for bathing and I think I've been buying their products now. I don't know if it's almost 10 years now, but I would say so and I just love their products. 
I love how they list the notes in all of their shower gels. So on the side you will see it's listed top, middle and base notes. And I love that because guys, you know I'm into perfumery. So just seeing all the notes listed is so nice and you can really smell it in here. So I'm going to read the notes in this one. Rose and rhubarb opens up with grapefruit, lemongrass and yuzu. We have a heart of rhubarb, rose and spearmint. And then in the base we have vanilla, musk and spun sugar. Guys, this is so beautiful. It's really pretty, extremely feminine. It's floral and sweet and a bit tart as well. But it's the right kind of tartness because you could wear this easily spring and summer. It's just so nice. And I normally wear this gorgeous body wash when I'm wearing Delina because this smells so much like Delina. They're not exactly the same, but they have very similar notes. You have the vanilla, you have the sugar, and then you have the rose, you have the rhubarb, and it opens up with that citrus. So here we have yuzu and grapefruit, and then in Delina you have the um, lychee. So speaking of roses, I have Rose Dunes, and this one is so gorgeous, guys. Now the reason why I bought this shower gel is because there was a gel that I've been using for maybe five years, and then Molten Brown actually discontinued the range. It was called Rosa Absolute, and it was such a stunning rose. It reminded me a little bit of Oud Satin Mood, but without the Oud. It just had the spice and the dark rosy notes and black currant. It was warming, it was really elegant. I was actually looking for another rose product and this one, I was so happy they came out with this because it's fairly similar. It reminds me of the same fragrance. And this one has top notes of cassis, saffron, violet. It has a heart of cinnamon, geranium and rose, which guys, again, this sort of does remind me of my Oud Satin Mood because you had a bit of the um, cinnamon with rose in there. And then here we have a base of patchouli, moss and amber. This is so gorgeous. Please, Molten Brown, do not discontinue this product. It's so nice. The colour is stunning. It looks really nice in the bathroom as well. And it is laced with like some very fine shimmer as well, which I don't find the shimmer sticks to my skin. It has a spiciness to it. You get the patchouli, the rose, you get the cinnamon in here, that geranium. It's really spicy and really nice. And I tend to wear this with most of my floral perfumes and my rose scented perfumes as well. The next Molten Brown shower gel I have is this one here. Now this is Coco Sandalwood. Now this one has been discontinued and I think they may still sell this in their outlet stores but I'm not so sure and what I did, I stocked up and I bought about four of these bottles. This is actually one of my backup bottles but this again is a beautiful sandalwood which I think they should have discontinued this one. But this is so gorgeous because I find this highly moisturising, guys. But it's just the water and this softens the water. For me, I receive a really nice lather that's sort of soft and a little bit, not oily, but moisturising. And for me, it works for my skin. So this one has notes of coconut, cinnamon and milk. We have a heart of jasmine and cedar and then we have a base of sandalwood, guyac wood and vetiver. Now guys, I love woods. Guyac wood is in here, sandalwood is in here. Those are my favourite woody notes. And then you just have the coconut, jasmine, cinnamon, there's milk in here. It's really nice and creamy. And this one I love in the summer. It just has the perfect balance of that shampooy bubble bath effect with coconut milky notes and some woods. It's so creamy and really nice and I find this quite moisturising. The next shower gel I have is a shower gel I typically use the beginning of spring. So anywhere from March all the way through the summer. But I normally wear this one March and April. This mimics a city when London is in bloom, guys. It is sparkling, it is pink and floral. This is my cherry blossom. I love this. Now this does leave a scent on the skin, but it's subtle and I think after an hour or so it does wear down. Guys, this smells so nice. It smells really clean and fresh. It smells like spring. It smells like delicate flowers and it has that cherry blossom note. It doesn't smell like the fruit cherry, 
but more the floral aspect of cherry blossom. This is my Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia and this one I love to wear in the hot summer months. I'm quite specific when I bathe with this shower gel. I like to use this after I've done an activity in the water. So it's either swimming or the gym. The fragrance in here makes me feel like I'm still surrounded by water and I think that's why I like it. It smells like a watery pear. It's crisp but fresh, very fresh. And then you have the freesia, which is like a white floral, very bright and uplifting. After the pool or the ocean or sometimes even the gym, I like to use this because it makes me still feel like I'm surrounded by water. I don't know why, I'm really specific with this one. At the same time I wear it. As you can see, I haven't been to the beach very often. <laughs> so um, I haven't worn it that much, but this is a beautiful, fresh scent, very fresh, clean. Lots of pear, one of my favourite notes. When it comes to fragrant shower gels, one of my favourite brands has to be Chanel, guys, because I feel like I'm bathing in the perfume itself. So beautiful, guys. So feminine, elegant. It puts me in a good mood. It just prepares my skin to be layered with all their other products. And that's what I do love about Chanel. They have so many products to layer with. So I wanted to share some of my favourites, or the ones I use the most during the summer. This is my Chante au Tendre, and this one I wear so often, guys. I've actually almost finished this one. I think it's somewhere around here, so I'm hoping it comes back into stock. But this one I really love. I do have a dupe for this, so keep watching for the dupe. Um, but this one is really beautiful. It's your fresh quince, you have jasmine hyacinth, and I just find this to be a really pleasant scent. This shower gel can be paired with the majority of your floral perfumes, and as you guys know, I do love my florals, and especially now in the summer, I'm more of a sparkling floral. I like something soft and a bit fruity as well, and I can layer this with many other varieties of fragrances. I do pair this with Guerlain, I do pair this with Miss Dior sometimes, and even Christian Dior's La Col Noir, I sort of layer or bathe with this first, and then I add my Le Col Noir after. But this one is so beautiful. I think this is a really nice daytime, easygoing fragrance and very feminine, very pretty. When you're going out in the evening and you're taking a second shower to prepare, then I normally like to go for something that's a little bit stronger. So I would perhaps use something like this. This is my Chance, the original, and you can wear this daytime or evenings, but I tend to pick this up in the evenings because it's got that patchouli, lots of citruses in this fragrance, and I think that's just gorgeous for the evenings. It smells really clean, guys, and bright. It's really nice. You've got the pineapple in here, lots of patchouli in top notes, in the base notes. It's really gorgeous. So I normally tend to pick this one up in the evenings when I'm showering. When I'm having a nighttime shower preparing for bed, then I do like to go for Chanel number five because it just smells like a blanket to me. It just smells fluffy and comforting. But again, in the evenings, I do tend to pick up this one here. This is my Coco Mademoiselle. And this one is an orange-based perfume with patchouli and some florals. To me, I receive lots of orange notes in Coco Mademoiselle. If you are in a tropical country, then you have to wear this because this in the sun, I don't know what it is, but it just performs even better. And this will just linger in the bathroom for days, the scent, and also on your towel or your flannel, you know, it just lingers for such a long time. So that's my Coco Mat. I really do enjoy this as a daytime scent or going out scent. It's highly versatile. And my dupe for my Chante au Tendre is my Givenchy Irresistible. Now this is the shower oil and this is so creamy. It's really nice in the shower. It leaves gorgeous scent on your skin, guys. It's so pretty and it does remind me a lot of my Chanel fragrance. It has cedar in here, there's rose in here, there's pear, really clean, really lovely. I would actually highly recommend buying this instead of 
of the Chanel because you're going to save money with this right. one. And once your body is cleansed, it's smooth, supple, it's smelling beautiful, it's now time to scrub the skin. Now this is my steps for preparing my skin. I like to cleanse the skin, so removing all the oils from the skin. And then I would go in and then I will buff the skin. In the summertime, usually twice a month, I would use a scrub. Some people will use it once a week, maybe on Sunday if that's your self-care day. You may just want to do your scrubs then. But for me, my skin is my skin is quite smooth so I don't overdo it, I just do it maybe every other week. I don't have sensitive skin but my skin does become red if I scrub too much so. Now this scrub is by Chanel and this was a limited edition item and I really do hope they bring something like this back again. But this one is Coco Mademoiselle. This smells so beautiful, so so nice, it's creamy and it's a very delicate scrub. Yeah, really, really delicate. I do love the body scrub by Fresh. It's called Sugar and it's a really nice hydrating scrub. And then every other week I would use a soft, mild scrub on my skin. This one exfoliates very gently and it leaves the fragrance. If you look, it, there's little perfume bubbles inside and it leaves that on your skin. Each one of those bubbles contains exfoliating pearls and then a bit of fragrance as well. I normally layer this if I'm wearing Coco Mademoiselle or if I just want a very delicate scrub then I would use this one. Those are the scrubs I have but I'm looking to try out new items as well. If you guys have any recommendations leave a comment down below. I wanted to share the next step now after exfoliating is applying oil to the skin. So I like to apply oil as a barrier to protect my skin to add back hydration as well especially if you're exfoliating. Now I have two forms that you've seen two forms of exfoliators. I have a very mild one I can use every week and I have another version that has larger grains that I might use only once a month. So after this process I like to add in lots of oils on my skin. One of the oils that I love is this one here. This is Coco Mademoiselle. This one is a perfumed body oil. This goes on as a dry oil so when you spray it you get that lovely silky oil on the skin. This one's not a sticky oil. It absorbs into the skin really nicely and it's easy to wear this one. But again, I received this really beautiful, it's like a soft orange with some woody notes, the patchouli, it's fresh, it's really feminine. What I do love about this one, guys, is the applicator. So this oil, you can actually spray it on your body. So the hard to reach areas like the back or behind the legs, you can actually um, reach it with this one. So yeah, the next oil I have is this one, is Le Beige by Chanel. This body oil, you can use it for your hair, your face. And I have to say, I've only ever used this on my body, just on my skin, not on my face. I haven't tried it as yet. Um, but I just love how this is on my skin. This is really moisturizing. And sometimes I use a combination of oils and I mix it with other products as well, especially in the winter time. But this one has a really nice neutral smell. It has that Chanel smell. If you are aware of their facial cleansers, their creams for the face, it just smells like their skincare. It's really nice. It's a subtle scent. You don't have to worry about this clashing with anything. So I wear this one quite a lot because of that. A lot of my shower gels are highly fragranced. They are perfumed. I have to be careful to layer with the correct perfume, otherwise they can clash. But usually with shower gels, it's not too bad because they only last on your skin maybe up to three hours. I think my most long lasting shower gel in terms of the scent would be Laura Mercier and also Molten Brown's Rosa Absolute, which is now discontinued. This one's quite easy to wear. You don't have to worry about this one interfering with your fragrances. Every feminine lady should have soft, supple, beautiful skin. And one of my go-to products is Fenty Skin. I only discovered this, was it about a year and a half ago? I think definitely it hasn't been two years I've been using this, I don't think as yet. But when I first tried this product, I was so in love. I love the creaminess. I love how it absorbs into my skin and plus I love the fact that the notes aren't too strong. It's a very gentle, light, delicate floral. 
really beautiful. Guys, as you can see, this is something I wear a lot. I find if you're using Fenty Skin as your first line to prepare for fragrances, guys, this is a winner because the fragrance is just going to stick to your skin and last. That's why I love this so, so much. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And it's versatile enough. It's a very soft skin scent. It's a very delicate, lightly scented body cream. If you're doing a very light floral combo for the summer, I recommend this one. It's so gorgeous. This is a cream that I love, but it's very soft. So if you are wearing a pretty floral, something delicate, maybe something like Miss Dior, Mongolan, Passe Soir, you just want something that's quite light as a base and this one's quite nice to mix in there. So new to my collection is the body cream for Chance au Tendre. Guys, this has been out of stock for about two and a half years. They reformulated everything, they've changed the packaging and it's so gorgeous this one. So, so nice. I've always loved this and it's been a long time guys since. The packaging is the same, same colour and everything. I've now decided to repackage the cream into a glass jar. Guys, if I can show you the consistency here. Really rich, beautiful cream, guys. This smells so soft, fluffy, it's airy, floral. This smells so nice. Really light and delicate floral. That's the body cream there. I love the packaging. I just think now the packaging is even more elegant. This one adds a very light moisture to your skin. And I have to say, some of the items that I've mentioned today, if they are highly perfumed, you're going to receive a lot less moisture. So these are lotions, so it's like a very soft, milky texture, and it's really nice just to freshen up the skin, to apply it on the arms, maybe the hands as well. But this is really adding more of the fragrance note and a little bit of moisture. The lotions are not as heavy, it doesn't last as long, but it does offer a lot of fragrance, and you will find any item that's highly fragrance is always going to have less moisturizing benefits. So for me, if I had to think of a cream that adds a lot of moisture, it's my Dove and then it's my Fenty Skin. I think these two are the main ones that I wear. As my everyday routine, this is something that I wear. And then obviously if I want some fragrance on top, then I might add the lotion on my arms just to give me that fragrance. I have another fragrance cheat for you guys. If you just want to smell shower fresh, you don't want to wear any perfume but you want your shower gels to be perfumed, then I recommend my Coco Mademoiselle. I would bathe with the gel and get a really nice rich lather with this one and then after I would add the oil and spray this all over my body and allow that to seep into the skin. And then after that, I would just add a little bit of the fragrance gel. So you can just apply some of the gel where you need it to be. And then you're going to receive all the perfume experience from this, because I believe this is just a concentrated perfumed gel anyway. So if you didn't want the spray and it's a really hot day, I would just use this. So I'm quite excited to wear this now for the summer, because sometimes you don't always want to be wearing the perfume in high heat. So I'm going to try this out, see how this works in high heat. So this is my Cherry Blossom, and this one I would pair with my Le Col Noir. I think these two go together quite nicely. This is your Fruity Florals, so that's really nice. I do wear this one a lot, guys. This is my go-to, as you can see by the size, it's humongous. This is my Rhubarb and Rose by Molten Brown, and I would pair this always, guys, with Delina. These two go together so nicely. I think this one's a bit more fruitier. This is nutmeg, it's spicy, it's woody, it's fresh, but it's deep, it's strong. This one is a bit more on the sparkling side, but it's a bit sweeter and sour at the same time with that touch of rhubarb, but these two together is really nice. And I think try and pair these together, perhaps use the lotion even more so than the gel. I think the body lotion would be quite nice to pair with this one. And just mix it, make it a bit unique as well. If I am wearing rhubarb and rose, then I do like holy peony as well. This is very sweet, and I think the sweetness matches this one. And then also another fruity floral is my Mon Pari. So they all go together nicely. My Rose June, I do wear this one quite a bit, and I mix this one with my Oud Satin Mood. 
they are gorgeous together and if not then something sweeter which is my roses for me really gorgeous i do love to mix my cocoa sandalwood with my bronze goddess nui it's a shame this is discontinued but if you mix any of your coconut body washes with a vanilla and coconut based perfume it's gorgeous especially if it has tropical notes like tiare flower elang or frangipani coconut is always a good base to layer together if i just want to smell like your everyday pretty then it's going to be irresistible by givenchy and my shans i just mix those together and it's either the shower gel and the lotion i put this on top i hope you found some inspiration today and loved all my picks let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite fragrance note to bathe with do you like a shower gel that's more neutral or unscented or do you prefer to go for perfumed body washes let me know i would love to know what is your most moisturizing body cream or body lotion drop me a comment down below so my darlings thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel make sure you like comment and share this video and i'll see you in the next one